Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about some new pressed powder cheek products from ColourPop. Today I'm going to give you as much info as I possibly can. This seems like a very permanent type of product for them. So hopefully this is the type of video that's still going to be really useful even post launch. I know sometimes their collections are quite limited and they do tend to sell out really quickly and those are the ones I really try to push myself to get the videos out as quickly as possible so that they can actually be helpful to you when you're shopping before these things sell out. But this seems like a very permanent staple type of line for ColourPop, at least I hope so because, spoiler alert, I really like these. So we have some new products, some new shades, and some new packaging. And then alongside these new shades and the new packaging, we're also seeing some free promoted products, things that have already been around for a while, namely the pressed powder bronzers. There are eight shades and none of these shades are new. I'm not gonna focus too much on the bronzers. You will see me use one in the tutorial portion, but I'm not gonna be doing swatching or anything with those. I've already talked about those in the past and I really wanna focus on the highlighters and the blushes in this video because all of the highlighters, there are six highlighter shades, and according to ColourPop, they're all brand new. These are not super shocks, these are pressed powders in a pan. So are they brand new, groundbreaking colors? No, these are pretty standard highlighters. However, according to ColourPop, they're all new. See, new, brand new, according to them. I have three out of the six shades. They didn't send me everything, which I get. That would be a crazy huge package, totally fine. So I have three of the six new highlighter shades, and we have 12 new pressed powder blush shades, and I have seven of those. So you're gonna get to see about half of the new shades. And I'm wearing one of the new shades on my cheeks today. I think it looks so cute and like spring summery. Along with the new shades and the new little compact packaging, they also are offering a build your own face palette on the site as well. It's something they've done in the past but hasn't been around for a while. So I'm gonna go over a little bit about that too. First, let's just take a close up look at these compacts. I'll give you some pricing, some swatches. So let's start with the individual powders first. Here's a look at all three of these different products together. So you can see there are slightly different colors in the compacts. Each one of these, if you buy them in the individual compacts instead of just a loose pan, are $12 each. If you buy just the pan of powder, they are $10 each. And you can tell the color difference a little bit better on the back, in my opinion. Maybe it's because that sticker gives a little more contrast. Like I said, we're not focusing on the bronzers because I've already done a video about these shades, these powders. But I did want to just give you a look at what the new packaging looks like. One notable thing is that the bronzers have the shade names inside, like printed on the compact inside. And none of my highlighters or blushes have that. I don't really know why, but I just wanted to point that out because it's something I noticed as I've been using these products. I don't know if these pans are magnetic. I tried to depot a couple of mine just to see. There's no hole on the back. I removed the sticker. There was no way to like push through. And as I tried to pry the pans out, I ended up busting two of my powders. At least it was in the name of science. They're still usable for me, but I don't know if these are glued in or not. I just didn't want to destroy any more of my powders to try to figure it out. So I'm sorry that I don't have that information for you, but at least even if they are magnetic, you know that it's kind of a struggle to remove them. So anyway, I'm just going to keep mine in the compacts because I don't want to ruin them. Here's a look at the three different highlighters that I have. These aren't super duper shiny. If you want a more ethereal, more like gentle, soft glow, then I think you'll like this finish. I personally do like that. ColourPop calls these a radiant finish, so they're not very shimmery. There's definitely no glitter happening, at least not in the three that I have. 
Then on the information that I was sent, they call the pressed powder blushes a soft matte finish and the pressed powder bronzers a natural matte finish. I don't really know what the difference is there. Maybe they're just, you know, using cool buzzwords for their PR send outs, but I don't notice too much of a difference in the texture between the blushes and the bronzers. All of these blushes though, the main takeaway is all the blushes and all of the bronzers are a matte finish. There are no shimmers, there are no secret sparkles, there's no little glitters or oversprays or anything. These are all matte. These are the swatches of the shades that I have. I did do a couple of swipes over just so that I could build up that color and let you really see what the difference is because I think especially with blush they can all kind of start to look the same especially if you see a really sheared out swatch and these do layer quite nicely you'll get to see that later on in the tutorial portion now a lot of people have been comparing this shade flamingo to the dior backstage rosy glow blush in pink so I thought maybe I should compare papaya to coral because I don't have that pink Dior blush but I do have the coral one and I thought you know in the pan these looked maybe similar enough you can see here in the swatch that the Dior one is quite a bit lighter so I definitely would not say that these two are dupes at all but I would definitely be open to ordering a couple of the colors that I didn't receive in this PR package to keep searching for that Dior dupe because this is a very popular and very expensive blush. Now that you've seen the close-ups and the swatches, I want to give you a little bit of information about the Build Your Own Face Palette, maybe make a couple recommendations for you there, and then I'll show you a demo using a few of these new colors on my face so that you can actually see them in action. Let's talk about the Build Your Own Face Palettes first. In order to find the Build Your Own Face Palette section you need to go to the face category and then down under shop cheek you can click the build your own cheek palette they will do four shades for 25 or six shades for 35 you can only build one of these per order so keep that in mind if you're feeling really excited about these and you want more than one you're gonna have to place multiple orders they do have all of the blushes, bronzers, and highlighters available as of right now anyway. So I'm just scrolling around a little bit so you can get a feel for the layout. This is not a build your own palette in the sense that you can arrange the colors in the open palette like their eyeshadow palettes have been, like the Lethal Cosmetics palette builder for example. You really just add the different things to your cart and they'll give you a little discount then you are gonna assemble the palette once it arrives to you so you just use the arrows here to scroll through all the different color options i'm gonna go ahead and just select some and add them to my cart that way we can fully walk through this process together if you click on the individual listings then it will pop up a full size picture you can see more about the individual colors and I'm just gonna go through and add a couple of these to my palette so that you can see the process. Keep in mind that right now as I'm recording this little screen recording that there is a site-wide sale. So my total is just a little bit discounted from what you're gonna see once the sale ends. But I just wanted to show you the whole process and really show you where to find the build your own cheek palette option because I know sometimes that can be the most difficult part. So that's how you do it. It's pretty easy peasy and it's definitely fun, at least in my opinion. I love building palettes. Now let's see some of these products in action. I am wearing one of the bronzers, one of the highlighters, and one of the blushes today. We'll take a look at a quick demo and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. This is the cheek look that I'm wearing throughout the talking portions of the video. I first applied the Avila Beach Bronzer and you can definitely make this more dramatic and more pronounced. I don't wear very dramatic bronzer. I just like to add a little bit of warmth 
but you can get a more exciting color payoff. I just really prefer to let my blush and highlighter do the talking, but if you wanted to either go with a deeper color, I am wearing the lightest bronzer, or layer it up some more, you can get a more dramatic look. I'm just going with what I personally prefer to wear. Next, I was trying to decide. I knew I wanted like a bright pop of blush and I ended up going with the papaya shade. I'm so glad that I did because this is actually my favorite blush from this new release right now. It just went on so smoothly. It automatically looked so bright and beautiful. And I did layer this up a little bit more. Like I said, I wanted to let my blush be the more dramatic of my cheek colors. I love the way this looks. You can tell it is so bright, so popping. It definitely makes my face look just lit up and lifted. Papaya is my favorite right now, and I'm not usually one for these like brighter, more corally blushes, but I just think that this looks so flattering, and I can imagine it will look good on a lot of different skin tones too. Next, I'm going to add the minted highlighter. It looks pretty on the skin. It definitely looks fine. I like that it's not overly shimmery, overly glittery. I like that it's a very soft, radiant, glowy type of look, but I will say that I'm way more excited about the blushes personally. Maybe it's just because I didn't get the colors that I would have chosen for myself, so I'm probably going to go back and do some ordering for some more blushes and highlighters so that I can really give these the full test, the full treatment, and I just think that they're really quite nice. I love the way this turned out. I felt cute, fresh, summery, everything applied really easily, and everything wore pretty nicely throughout the day too. So all in all, very, very happy with these, particularly the blush, but everything seemed to work out great for me. I did want to give you a little bonus demo. This was a different day where I skipped the bronzer and I just layered one of the matte blushes and then the deeper highlighter on top as like a shimmery blush topper. So it's just a different way to wear and combine these. And it was definitely faster and easier because I wasn't really too worried about placement and I was using, you know, less products overall. But I wanted to share this particularly because I liked the highlighter as a blush topper to transform to a shimmery blush even more than I liked it as just a traditionally placed like top of the cheekbones type of highlighter. I liked the way that they work together. I liked the way that this wore throughout the day and just how it sat on my skin. I actually prefer the deeper highlighters as a blush topper. But then again, I am just very much in a blush era right now. So maybe that kind of sums it up too. But there are a lot of different ways to wear and combine these products. So I wanted to share that with you. Product wise, I really like this launch. I love seeing new colors of their blushes and highlighters. I've been a long time fan of most things ColourPop. I do think that the pressed powder cheek products could use a revamp, so I think this is a really smart move. I do think that it's adding a lot to the line and it makes sense within the ColourPop family. These things have performed really well for me. I think the colors are beautiful. There's a nice range here, so it does seem like there are gonna be a lot of different options for all different types of personal styles, skin tones, preferences in general. When it comes down to the products, the color selection, I think these are great. My only complaint is I'm not really a fan of this plastic packaging. I really, really prefer their cardboard packaging over the plastic packaging for several reasons. This is just the less environmentally friendly option but it's also, it's also just not really travel friendly. The cardboard packaging can absorb shock a lot better and will protect your makeup better. And the cardboard packaging itself is less likely to break on impact. I do find that these little plastic compacts will crack pretty easily, even just from being packed into like a travel makeup bag. Aesthetically, I don't think it was meant to really do that much and it doesn't really do that much for me. I feel like they could have done something a lot cuter, a lot more environmentally friendly, and just a lot 
better at protecting a powder product with the cardboard versus the plastic. So that's really my only thing that I don't like about this launch. Otherwise, I'm always happy to have more blush and highlighters. Even though I don't usually prefer a matte blush, I think these look really, really nice on. I get a great impact of color, they blend really easily, and they don't look flat and dry on my skin, which sometimes can happen with some matte blush formulas. So packaging aside, really excited about these. I like the colors, I like the formulas, I like this launch overall. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about these new products. Have you tried them? Have you already ordered them? Are you going to build your own face palette? Which colors are your favorites? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! These are not super shock shadows, they are pressed sh shadows. What are you talking about? Doing great! If you only knew some of the wild stuff that people <laughs> say to me on social media, it's very strange. What can you do? <sighs> Cheers. Oh, this is a new flavor that I've really been into. Guava Sao Paulo. Oh, it matches my earrings. Cute. I forget what I was talking about. How pretty is this eyeshadow? I've been testing out this Italian spritz palette. Too Faced Italian Spritz. Guys, it's really pretty. It's so pretty. Ooh. It feels good to be able to be excited about a Too Faced palette because it's been a while, but I'm wearing all of these shadows on this row. I think for my review video, I'm going to do three looks using every single shadow in each row. That way I can use every single eyeshadow in the palette for my review. But so far so good. Day one test run. And look, I match the packaging. Cute! We'll just wait and see because I'm sure ColourPop will have another <laughs> another new release to announce in 24 to 48 hours. So better get to editing this video. Um, I will see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. I appreciate your presence. And I love each and every one of your beautiful little faces. See you real soon. Okay, bye!